Hey everybody, how are ya? I'm here, we're dyeing some wool. I think we got it, Sue, how do we? I'm getting the, can we get it to show them? Can you, heck no, there we go, I gotta stay here. Can you show them? Big Merino, big, oh, it's gonna be nice. So I think, yeah, maybe, maybe skip the pink and just stick with a little mauve with it. Okay, yeah, so the blue and the mauve. Thanks, Sue. You're welcome. Okay, come back at the studio. Um, we have internet in like two different internets in our studio. It's crazy because the place is old and made with stone walls. I didn't put on my lipstick. I forgot. Didn't fix my hair. Did nothing. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome everybody. How are you? Okay. I'm going to make a cup of coffee here and we're going to get ready and to talk about what we're going to talk about today. And those are my windows. I better give you a little turn so that we can see each other better. There we go. Oh, look what's over there. I got something to tell you about that rug. Yeah, I do. I've got lots of new yarns. We've been dyeing lots of yarn. Um, and I've got lots to tell you today. I wrote it all on a sticky note. <laughs> oh, here we go. So I'm going to wait till we get lots of people here before I make our little announcements. But today, one of the things I'm gonna do is I am going to do, um, I'm just deciding what to hook, right? I'm not sure, hi Scylla, how are you? Welcome, Shelly Richardson, hello Shelly, I might see you tomorrow, hey, you might be coming up. And Margie Mertansky's here, Lynn O'Connor, she started her 10 minute a day challenge, I'll tell you more about that later. Hello, Lynn Barton, oh, it's nice to see all of these people every time. I wish I could see you too. I don't don't know how to do that. Jody. Hi, Jody. Hi, Lori. Everybody's good. Jennifer Brennan. Hi, Jennifer. So, um, I have a blank piece of burlap and I have, what, remember when we had that pattern sale last week? Hi, Joy. Hi, Robin. Pamela. Um, well, I had that pattern sale last week. I was going through, like we were going through all our studio patterns and we still have a few things to add to that um, thing, but we won't get it done this week. But um, I found this pattern. Can you see it? It's like houses and these circles. And I, I pulled that out today and then on the back side of it, I'd drawn this. So obviously I'd drawn this boat and then like kind of like a, a wharf but this kind of reminded me of the rooms in St. John's and I, I thought I might do these big box houses at some point so I'm, I was thinking about doing that so I just finished uh, a rug you can see it right behind me right here that's the organic roses uh, rug and I'm going to tell you more about that later it is on the website now if you want the pattern and it is available as a kit but it is a limited edition. We're not going to be doing a ton of them. We're just going to do a few of them. I'll tell you about that. Hi, Heather. Hi, Lori Mil Miller from Abilene, Texas. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Ingrid Bader. Kimberly Hurt. Hello, Nancy Johnson. Someone said that I remind them of the woman from Romper Room when I do this. So I have a blank piece of linen. And today I'm going to show you what, what to do when you don't know what to do. Because I think, I think, if we're going to do the 10 minute a day challenge and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later too. I have two things I have to talk to you about. I have them written right here on a note. Um, um, the limited edition and the 10 minute challenge. We're going to talk about those a couple of times over, over the time. And I have new yarns I want to show you besides what Susan was dying in there. So I wish you could see like the whole thing here because I've got stuff everywhere. So I've got my blank piece of linen. And what I want to do is I want to cut that so it fits my Shetty Camp frame perfectly. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this down now. And uh, 10 minutes ends up being 30 minutes or longer. Isn't that the truth? I know when you're doing the 10 minute challenge. So I'm going to cut this linen so that it perfectly fits. These are my little pink shears I got from Joni Black who, has, who runs Red Sands Studio in Montreal. Red Sands Fiber Studio. I just like the look of them. So, and here, I'm just gonna cut that to size. So, 
So sometimes I don't know what to hook. Like right now, I feel like that. I'm not really ready for that. Uh, I'm not, I kind of want something a decent size, but I'm not really ready for not really ready for a big rug okay i uh, so i wanna i uh, that that big rug that i showed you i, I don't know that i want to hook that right yet i know i want to i think i want to hook it sometimes uh sometime but i don't think that's what i want to put on the frame today and i think i'd like to make some smaller pieces so but but like a decent size like not six by six or anything so I'm gonna sew my sew this on my Shetty Camp frame. Now, those of you who have ordered Shetty Camp frames, they are coming. Grant brings in six a week. That's all he can manage to make. Um, we get after them. So they they are you're in the queue if you're waiting for it. And if you order one, if you want one and you order one, sometimes takes uh, about four weeks for us to to catch up. But the good news is your other orders, I think all are. All, um, all the back orders are pretty much caught up now, and uh, we're just back to normal in terms of our shipping. So everything is good that way. So I'm just sewing my uh, linen on my Shetty Camp frame, and then I'm going to do I'm going to do some drawing and designing and talk about that with you. We had design school this year. Design school is going to happen every year probably in the early spring of every year. It might not be May, it might be April. And uh, you can't you can't take it now, it's done, but we're gonna do, do it all new every year, like an all new design school every year. I was deciding what to do, you know, should I do it the same thing every year and just repeat the course? But I think, I think I'm still learning about design 30 years in. So um, I think, that 17 lessons is just a start. So, I mean, we'll have the basic elements of design that we'll, we'll cover every year, but there are so many great ideas for design. So I'm gonna, so all you do when you're sewing your pattern on your Shetty Camp frame is you make sure that your raw edges are folded in. What's everybody saying there? Hi, hi Deanne from Great Village, love design school, thank you. Christy was at Landry and she had a camp frame is awesome. Thank you, Carol Cooper. It is. It's just a great frame. I remember the first day that I got my Shetty camp frame, I came home and I put it under the window and I was young. I was a young, young woman. I was 24 years old and I was sitting down and then with that frame and up till before I had my Shetty camp frame, I only used a hoop that I duct taped together so that I could hook. So, um, and just the freedom of, the freedom of your hands, right? Not to be trying to balance or hold anything. That, that's what really made a difference for me. And can, like people say, well, the shutter cam frame's big. Can I, can I do this with it? Can I do that with it? You can just turn it like this. I'll just go like that and get off. Let her go. That's it. Simple. So, anyway, it's just a great frame. Get that needle threaded. So, let's talk about the challenge. We have almost 400 people here, and I'm hoping that we'll have 400 again today. I think as long as we get 400, this is a wonderful thing to be doing. I think it's great. Every can't believe on a hot day. 401, there we are. That's just great. Thank you, folks, for joining me. I really, I really appreciate it um, because. You know, a lot of people have thanked me for this, for doing this, but I have to say it's me too who needs to thank you uh, for supporting uh, the studio over this over these months, for believing in beauty and for making it a priority in your life and for coming in on this warm day. I hope some of you are watching on the deck. Uh, so, so. I'm just gonna get this on here. So sewing it on the Shetty Camp frame, make sure you use upholstery thread. Right now we have Guterman upholstery thread on the website and you can you can grab it there. Um, 
you want uh, upholstery thread it's made out of nylon and it's really really strong so that uh, you can get really good tension on your frame when when you roll it that's very important um, so I, I love that and it doesn't have to be Guterman but Guterman is a great thread of course we all know that okay one more round and see how long it took me to uh, pop this on people say oh do you have to sew the pattern on the shetty camp frame yep you do yep takes it takes a minute to sew it on but you can see how long have we been here uh, how long did it take me to do this maybe five minutes I'm trying to read something I have a shetty camp frame but never set it up oh set it up Dora get that set up okay So when you don't know what to hook, do, do you guys ever feel that way? Do you ever feel like uh, that you don't know what to hook? And you can answer me in the comments. Have you ever felt like you just don't know what to hook next? Or Because if we're doing the 10 minute challenge, 10 minute a day challenge, you're gonna need something to hook, right? You gotta, gotta have something on your frame. You gotta have something ready. Does anyone ever have trouble thinking of things to hook? So in Nova Scotia today, uh, Steve, Premier Stephen McNeil burst the bubble. I just heard that. So now we can have gatherings of up to 10 people without social distancing. And, of course, we'll continue to be careful. And we also can have um, gatherings of up to 50, but with social distances. And playgrounds will be open. So we are all feeling a lot of relief and happiness and that and of course we're proceeding with caution so when is she going to open that studio that's what i'm wondering that, that woman down the road who has the rug hooking studio is she ever going to open again or is she just going to do mail order well what do you think what do you think you think i'm going to open we sell the twill tape glenda we just have one inch that's all we can find right now but we have it um so what we decided to do was we're going to open officially on monday june 22nd we're just going to open the front end of the studio. Um, sadly, we're not going to be offering tea and coffee this summer. You, we used to have the back and you could go in and make yourself a tea and coffee, but we felt to be prudent. And oat cakes um, are to go this summer. We've got them all wrapped up individually for you to take with you. So just for this summer. So we just going to open the front part of the studio and it's officially opened on June 22nd. But the news is, I heard, that if you come to the door today or tomorrow, she'll let you in. Because we're, we're pretty much softly opening now. But our official opening, we won't be open on this Saturday. Our official opening starts on June 22nd. So, um, uh, so the question was, I could use a drive to Amherst. Yes, we're open. We're going to be open. Um, Anybody, anybody got any ideas about what they do when they don't know what to hook? Hello, Sultana. Hello, Mazin. I'm good. I'm good. It's nice to know that you are good too. I saw you paint at your house uh, in, in squares. You're creative and happy. That's great. The kids must love it. Okay, here I go. Yeah, come in tomorrow, Kathy. Kathy said Kathy lives or just around the works just around the corner. Yep. Or, or maybe get out on your break and come over. Um, <laughs> if you can. So I'm tightening this up now. You can see I, I used um, a metal rod right here like this. How do I get this here to show you? Use a metal rod like this and you tighten it on both sides. Pretty simple, really. I've shown I've shown this before, but it's good good to know. And then so gotta make sure. Gotta hook. What's really important to keep your tension is hooking it on the sides, right? So I have extra, I added extra linen so that I'd be able to do that. And then I'm gonna go down in this end and show you and that end. Make sure my there we go. So that didn't take very long. Now, what am I going to hook today? All right, where am I? I? I never know. This is where you can see good, so this is where I need to draw. Okay, I have to. So designing hooked rugs is really simple. You need 
I like to turn my frame around, so I'm just gonna, I don't know why, but when I hook, where am I over here? When I hook, I like to hook on, hook with the side that's sewn on. So I'm going to grab my ruler. So I don't know what to hook. I have no idea what I'm putting on this, but I know the yarns that I want to use. These are the colors I went out in the studio and I found out what was inspiring me. The Aurora, Aurora Borealis and Big Merino. I love, I haven't used this much, the, the 17 shades of lichen and lace. I, I just pull the smoke. We have two new colors on the website, uh, three new colors of our hand dyed on the website. We have Blue Danube. We have Passion in a four ply, gorgeous red. Oh, we have four. We have You Betcha. And we have Muscle Shell. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? And guess who's back home? It is Silver Laughter. We completely ran out of Silver Laughter and we couldn't get it for a while. But now we have Silver Laughter and Sari Silk and we have Earth Wave. So I'm looking at all these colors and they are not all working together. I know that. So I have to decide what, what I want. So these four, I, I really like the muscle shell and I really like the smoke. And I think I want to use some of, some of this. And this, I'm going to show you this Aurora Borealis. So remember what I showed you early on? When you get a, a, a yarn like this, what you can do when it's, you can, you can cut it and then take half of it. So you have half of it that's all variegated. And then with the other half, you can divide it. So you can have a really deep teal. You can have a nice medium green. You can have a gray blue and you can have sort of a variegated blue and teal. Um, and then you can have a blue. So you can take half of it and then have all these different colors. That's a really important thing to know about variegated yarns. So half of it you will take. I'm actually going to use this muscle shell over here. It's not much different. Let's see what the difference is here. So I'm going to take it. Well, I want this one because it has teal in it and the one she made for the studio has teals in it. So I'm going to open one up. So you cut the yarn in one place and then you have to cut, cut the loops, right? Cut the circles that are around it and then take half of it and tie it in a knot and then pick out some pink, pick out some cream, pick out some black, pick out some teal and cut those apart. And by cutting them apart, you'll get a, you get a lot of different yarns for one, for one group. Okay. Now, those are the yarns that I'm thinking about. So I think I'm going to do... something about eight. And really what's inspiring me today, truthfully, is that muscle shell. But I don't want to hook a muscle shell. like. That's not the point of naming these yarns, is not to hook something exactly like it. Oh, I've got to straighten that up a bit. Okay. So you just take your marker simply and you draw something on it. So what I'm going to draw today is something that I can use these yarns in. It's hard, isn't it, to be on Facebook Live and and uh, not know what you're gonna make. <laughs> do you ever just doodle and hook that? Yeah, Pam, sometimes I do. I never really think of it as doodling. Um, I, I have to decide. I feel like I want something sea inspired. So I'm going to start with
You know what I really kind of want to do is I kind of want to do the Sea Garden abstract in a different palette. So maybe I've been thinking about that a bit. So see what happens as soon as I start moving towards making ideas come. So sometimes you just have to come before the blank space and just let it be blank. I can hear Greg and Susan in the background laughing over the dye pot, and I love that. I love that sound. Isn't that nice? These are like waterways, a lot of these, and I've hooked like this before. And, and it is kind of feeling like Sea Garden Abstract. I don't like this. I feel like even though it's the mussel shell, I feel like it's really a problem. So I'm changing the shape here of that. All right, that's better. And then you you still have to think of composition and focal point and... One of the favorite things I did last year was my hand-drawn home. It was just a an image of Newfoundland and it was just a hand-drawn map, what I remembered from my grade five teacher. So let's, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. So it's gonna be like a small sea garden. And many of you took the sea garden course and you can get the sea garden pattern still online um, if you're interested. Okay, so what do I got here? That, let's, let's try this Sari this gray sari, because I, I don't sort of see myself doing this in blues. Let's see, I gotta get some scissors. I gotta get my scissors with the thread on them. Uh oh, I brought them all over there. Okay, I gotta find my hook. Oh, it's all over here. I'm more organized than I thought I was. Okay, so, so this is the circle I'm talking about, this thread. You wanna make sure those threads are cut when you're cutting up a skein. Sometimes they look like this, okay? Oh, I'm excited about this now. So I came with nothing, right? I had nothing, I had nothing to offer the mat, really, when I came here today. I just, but I think I'll leave with something. I'm gonna leave these long because uh, I wanna, Hey Greg, you want to come in? <laughs> come in? No, no, you, no you're no, looking no, for something. Just, just look, go. Looking for those uh, those swatches that you had this morning. Which one? Oh, I, I put them back in the with the wool box. Okay. Yeah, we're dying for wool box for next month. So, yeah, they're in the in the room with the mail room kind of. Okay, so you're gonna take your, you're gonna take this, and bring this down now. Okay, bring this over. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna cut that in half and then I'm gonna rip it. Some of them are thinner and some of them are thicker. When you get a thick piece, you wanna rip it in two. There's just no need, you just don't need all of that. So, um, the th so Sari is an interesting fabric because when you're working with Sari, I have no idea of what time it is or whatever. I, I should have a clock or something, I guess. Um, when you are working with Sari, oh, see there, it's just, darn. I like, I like it when you can get one long rip. Let's see if we can here. Okay, that one's not ripping good, but some of them do. But I don't like working with Sari this wide. I just feel like it's kind of a waste of uh, waste of cloth. So you can cut it all the way through. Oh, it's for one reason or another, it's not working for me today. It doesn't always. So you can just keep cutting if you want. No, this one isn't ripping. It's just a lighter, gentler silk. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go like that and cut it.
So, these are the announcements I have to make. We're starting a 10 minute challenge. So it's rug hooking 10 minutes a day for 50 days between now and, let me try that again. Ah, there we go, a longer rip. Um, rug hooking for 10 minutes a day. And that was an, uh, an idea by April DeConnick, who's a rug hooker from Houston, Texas, and also a professor of uh, religious studies. Uh, she, years ago in 2010, when blogs were a big deal, she said we should have a 10 minute a day challenge. And we had a 10 minute a day challenge. And the idea was you hook for 10 minutes a day. So between now, or we're, we're, you can register until Monday. Uh, between now and Monday, you register on our Wild with Wool Facebook page. So you just join Wild with Wool and all you do to register is you comment on that post. We have 487 people registered for the 10 minute a day challenge. And what you're committing to do is for 50 days between now and September 1st, you will hook for 10 minutes a day. So you don't lose that gorgeous groove that you've created over these last months, you know? You know I know it's warm and it's hot and everything else, but what the heck, let's, let's hook all summer long. I mean, okay, I'm gonna hook. Um, so, so go register right now. Join Wild with Wool. If you go in and just ask to join, Google Wild with Wool. And, uh, go in Facebook, search Wild with Wool. Uh, De uh, Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio Wild with Wool will come up, and you can join there. And if you hook for fifty days. So, you know, you can take weekends off or whatever, or miss a day. But 50 days between now and September 1st, you can, we'll do a post and you can comment. And the person, uh, uh, everybody who comments will be entered to win a prize from the studio. Something beautiful. I don't know what, but something gorgeous. I can promise you that. So join Wild with Wool and, uh, and you can do that after this is over. So what I'm hooking today is... I'm going to hook like, it's kind of like islands and, and roots and maps. And there's going to be some of that mussel shell in there. And I am going to open one of these because they are just so beautiful. I'm going to cut my threads. I'm going to put half of it away. So this is variegated, but in a different kind of variegation. Can you see the difference between this one and the other? Um, this is more speckle dyed, okay? So they're all little pieces. So you, you wouldn't be able to divide them in the same way. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna tie it in a great knot and save that piece. Maybe we'll put those on the $5 walls and I'll, I'll keep this part for myself. So. Sari is a great outliner because if you want the outline or the edges of something to have impact because it's so rugged, right? Look, okay. and, and you can see I'm hauling it up quite high. Now my inclination is here to do it, to haul it up twice, like to, to do it twice, but I don't think so. I think if I want this area to have impact, I have to decide what I'm outlining with Sari and what I'm not. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, because you don't want the whole thing outlined in Sari, right? I don't, anyway. Oh, can't move that. I'm gonna, gonna move my frame for you. So I'm going to use this area right here and outline with Sari. And then I'm gonna grab something. Got a 229, I gotta check the time because I don't wanna bore you to death. Uh, I think we need something deep, earthy. Oh. Deep and earthy, deep and earthy. Oh. There we go. Just got a nice gray sexy jersey that I found. So, see that? Okay. And I've found some brown uh, browns from the Sunday Drive, so I'll probably use those in here too. So rather than out, rather than uh, outline this in um, two different in this in in the sari twice, I think that if I outline it in two different things, I'm going to create 
I'm gonna create a better look. You see that? And again, both very rugged. So probably uh, because these are rugged fibers, probably what I'm gonna put on the inside of this, you see that? See how they go together? Uh, is something finer, which it would be for against these, this would be finer. That wouldn't always be finer. Everything is always in relation to, um, everything is always in relation to what it's up next to, right? Color is. So yeah, I like this. This is good. Oh, it's lovely. Okay. So two big heavy outlines. And uh, what other colors am I going to use in this? Well, I'm probably going to hook something finer in there, but what if I didn't? What if I did the big merino? No, I, I need something finer in there. Let's try this Rustic Sport. So when you're using something like Rustic Sport Heather, uh, this is Megan, who used to work with me many years ago and went off to start her own business called Lichen and Lace, and we sell her yarn all the time. And, and I... I really like her yarn. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to use uh, three strands of it. Okay? Something, so I'm just going to put that in here. Oh, it's very gray. It's a lot of gray here. Okay. So if you don't know what to hook, show up and start the process. That's what I say. Just show up and get there. And okay, that was three strands. I'm gonna try like with five strands and see what the difference is, okay? So there's three strands. Can you see? Bring it in. There's three strands. Here's one I hook with five strands. Not a lot different, right? So might as well be doing it with the five. Well, it's a little hard. It's, it's a little hard to, to pull up with the five, I gotta be honest. Okay, so that's your lesson for today. What was it really? What was that lesson? Let's think about what I, what I taught you today. I think what I taught you today is even if you don't know what to hook, show up and hook. Just show up and, and just have something on the go. I'm probably gonna mix another gray with that. And then I showed, you, so the, I showed you the new yarns that we're putting on. The other lesson that I talked about was how when you use something like a rugged fabric, you might want to have um, uh, a lighter, a, a, you know, a, a thinner fabric next to it. It just, it's a great contrast in textures. And then the other thing that uh, we learned was about double outlining. And you can use two rugged, two, rugged, uh, two rugged cloths together and make a great double outline. So that's what I taught you. Now I want to tell you about uh, the organic roses pattern. We have... Um, Andrew Benson, what about the organic roses? Roses. Uh, okay, so the organic roses pattern is available. I'm doing a limited edition of it. We're only doing 48 patterns. It's 27 inches across. Okay, so this was the one we did last week. It's 27 inches across in diameter, and it's on linen. And there are, I think I put up like 24 patterns and 24 kits. It's available, and you know where it is. It's under patterns on the top on the top, uh, I think it says original and limited edition. It's where we had all the sale patterns um, uh, last uh, week. So if you want this pattern, I would grab it. Um, that is that is the, so it's a limited edition, 48 altogether, and some of them have already been sold. So there's, there's not even quite 48 there. And it's the Organic Roses pattern. And remember, you could do it in blue if you wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are many colors that you could do this in that it would look very beautiful and you could change the mood off it very easily. So that's the organic roses. Um, I, I love it. Uh, the other thing that I want to tell you about today is um, to remember to remember to um, join up, sign up for uh, Wild with Wool. And if you sign up for a while with wool and you hook for 50 days, for 10 minutes a day, between now and September 1st, you'll be entered to win a prize. And maybe we'll do like some other things throughout the summer for that group, okay? And what was the other thing? Where is that, where is that sticky note? What was the other thing I was supposed to tell you? 
the sticky note is missing. That's the thing about sticky notes is they're, you know, they're a great idea, but they're hard to find. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you that is if you do a Facebook Live yourself or you go on to Facebook Live or you're doing something like that, this is really important. Remember to put on your lipstick. It just makes you feel better. I forgot to put on mine. So, um, oh, the store is opening. The studio is opening. And we are going to be, we're open today. If you want to come in, if you live up the road, you can come down and see us. But we uh, are officially open on June 22nd. And uh, so those were the three things, I think. I think that's it. It was really nice to have you here. I so appreciate that you show up. I really do. See ya. I'm going to go put on my lipstick.